Okay, hi guys, this is the seventh CMD tutorial, the second bat one. Um, this is a program I made, I called it Common File Runner, or Windows Utility Runner. And I've put a list of different files here, so for example, if we were to type in 6 and press enter, um, file was blocking it, and again, it opened Notepad, if I typed in 1, um, wait, we need to close Notepad, yeah, okay. So then we type in 1, press enter, and it opened the registry editor. So that's a pretty cool program. Let me show you how it works. Basically what it is, is for start off, it clears the screen, puts the color, let's make it um, 0A, that looks better. Then it echoes, which sends out this text. So it says 1 is registry editor, 2 is this cleanup. This part of text here, it doesn't affect how it runs, but this affects so that you know what you're typing, um, so that you know what you're opening. Then it just says set var. Var doesn't mean anything. It's just a variable. Um, variable var var variable. Um, a select program. Select program is the text. So then it says if var, which is the text. So let me show you. Let's just drag this down here and run it. So we open it, and I'll run. I'll, I'll go through the code with you. So it's saying echo program list. There's the program list. All the different te um echoes here, is all the different text there, and then var equals select program, there's the select program, right? So now if you type in any number, the var is what's going to be typed in here, you see it's after the select program. So if, if it says 1, then we say go to 1, and I've linked 1 to open the registry editor, and then afterwards I said, I said exit, I said F2, and there's the location for the cleaning program, the, what it, what's it, disk cleanup. Um, three is performance monitor, right? So this basically is saying if the variable one, if the variable equals one, go to number one. And this colon, that, that little symbol there signifies a name. So it's naming that as one. And it says go to number one, there's number one. Executes that line of code. That line of code opens up the registry editor. And then once that's closed, this exits as well. So it took me about 10 minutes to do, basically all that it is, is it has um, the ability to open up some nice programs, there we go, made it look a bit cooler, and yeah, that's pretty much the extent of what this program does, there's tons of other stuff you could do with this, um, this is pretty much as advanced as you're ever going to want to get with a .bat file, but, because it's actually asking if questions, but I mean, for example, if you wanted to, let's just copy this bit of texture just for demonstrative purposes. And we will close that and close that and we'll make a new program or a new, f or it will be a program, but it's a text document to start. So we're going to call it file runner bat. Okay, we're going to edit it. I'll edit it with notepad. I'm just going to paste this text. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this, delete, I'm just going to get rid of um, some of this dirt here, because I want to show it to you that you can open multiple programs with um, com with the .bat file. So now what it's going to do is it's going to open all of these files up at the same time, at least it should. There you go, it's opening the registry editor, there's the registry editor. There you go, it's opening the cleaner, there's the cleaner. Performance monitor. There's the performance monitor. My performance monitor is on my other screen. Close it down. And there you go. You can see it's opening all of the different files here. And let's just close this. I don't want it to open any of the other stuff. So you can use a bat file, as I've shown you here, just with, in quotation marks, the location of the file. If there's... Um, uh, space in it normally you put quotation marks but sometimes you should put a quotation mark um, but if you wanted to just run files that's um, multiple files at once like you can make a, a startup file like there's 20 programs or whatever two programs three programs that you use when you switch your computer on just put the the links to the .exe or the 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 root to the .exe in this file put it in your startup menu and the way we would get there is we go startup well it's, in a, it's a folder isn't it startup um,
startup okay so you could drag and drop that dot bat file into the startup folder and what that'll do is it'll um, execute the dot bat file and run all the files within the dot bat file which can be pretty cool if you want to have the ability to start up um, extra programs um, if you guys want I'll put the file runner this common file runner in the um, description I'll upload it to some file hosting site so you guys can have a look at it uh, tinker with it play with it if you want but yeah, it can be pretty pretty nice um, to be able to make bat files to do whatever you want them to do uh, this was the seventh video, I think. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.